We continue, my friends, to declare that believers are leaders. They are spiritual guides to someone else. They, they are managers, they are administrators, and they give generously to have a behavior, a mature lifestyle, so that you can save money to give to churches, to give to the people of God, to give to the needs. It requires a level of management and leadership. Acts 11.29, so the believers in Antioch decided to send relief, that is financial relief, to the brothers and sisters in Judea, everyone giving as much as they could. Oh, how I pray that will happen in this network. We wouldn't have any, any more needs, but right now we are less than 20% budget. We need uh, the income, we need the help of brothers and sisters. Oh, I pray for that generosity. Given as much as they could. And then in Romans 15, 27, it says, they were glad to do this because they feel they owe a real debt to them. Since the Gentiles received the spiritual blessing from, of the good news from the believers in Jerusalem, they feel the least they can do in return is to help them financially. They receive the message and they give financially. If you're receiving the message in this network, if you're being fed and blessed, then return it with finances. But not only that, remember, every believer is called to be a leader. Uh, John Maxwell said, most people don't believe they can make a positive impact on the world they live in. And that is the greatest barrier unbelief. We don't believe in ourselves. We don't believe that Christ called us to be leaders, to make disciples, to multiply churches and groups. So I urge you, make a decision, take a determination today and announce to your leader, that you, your group leader, that you are ready to plant a new group and do it with confidence. With the help of the Lord, you're going to be a successful leader. God will bless you. I know someday some of you might send me an email or a text saying, thank you for that word because it changed my life that day. I assume my responsibility as a leader in the church. God bless you. Keep strong.